What's going on guys? Today's video I'm gonna install some wheel spacers on the car. These are hub centric wheel spacers. They are an inch in thickness and these I paid 28 bucks for the pair. I also got some non hub centric spacers. These were used also. Not also but like these were used. Uh, also one inch. Um, these I bought them for 20 bucks but when the guy shipped them out to me he sent them priority mail, so they charged them 14 bucks to sh ship these out. So I guess he only made six bucks off of these. So, anyways, first thing I need to do: take off the wheel. I need to get the grinder and chop off the chip off. I need to chop off. I need to cut them off. I need to cut off the the studs, the original studs, because they're a bit long and they actually stick out a little bit after the spacer like this so it doesn't let the wheels sit completely flush so I'm gonna have to chop these off from the car so you guys just kick back and watch relax I guess enjoy the tunes Check it out, I already did the driver's side as well. They do stick out just a tad bit, not a whole lot. I just uh, turned the car over just to make sure that they didn't rub on the top of the fender. I am gonna have to check to see if I can find a fender roller somewhere here locally, maybe out of zone. I don't know if they rent that tool, which I doubt it, but I just don't want the fender, the right here, the little lip to hit on top of the tire and just cut chunks off of the tire. These are still new. So I'm gonna have to check for those. If not, I'm gonna have to buy it online. It's, it's, it's a tool that you just use like once or twice maybe and it's gonna stay there. But still, it's good to have. So anyways, I'm gonna go to town right now because of these. Uh, these are for the back. So the previous owner just sent me four lug nuts with them and I'm gonna need another four uh, <clears throat> but check this out so you guys can compare the back tire with the front tire the front tire does stick out and this one is still on the inside so yeah let's head over to town making sure these tires didn't rub I need to unas tuercas okay uh, metric 12 by one one and a half the más cortitas que tengas so they have some but I'm gonna get the spacer from the car. Sale un poquillo. Son las más cortitas que que tenías, verdad? Sí, lo único, bro. Michael le puedo que grañar o qué? Sí, con un grinder. Pues no sé qué la, la hace, ¿no? Está bien poquito lo que sale. Imagino que no sé cómo estaba haciendo. Alright, I guess they were, they were closing already. So I got my 
New lug nuts. <laughs> These nuts. Alright guys, so last night I picked up the lug nuts for the spacers. And as you guys saw in the video, they were just a bit taller than what I needed. So for that, I'm just going to grab the grinder and shave them down a bit to make them fit. Now they're sitting perfect, nice and flush. So let's just go put them on. Alright guys, so now the back bumper is on. This is what I wanted to show you guys. These are the universal fender flares that you can find on online, eBay or Amazon for about 28 to 30 bucks. Uh, they come in two different uh, sizes, like in thicknesses right here. So you can install front and back. Um, right now, I'm not going to be able to install these because I still don't have the rib nut gun and the nuts for them. So I'm just going to show you guys what they could look like of course of course you can trim these to size you can cut them off so this is more or less the look that it's gonna have all right guys so as of right now I know that the fender flares look pretty stupid on the car being that these wheels are six and a half but they give you an opportunity to get some wider wheels and get some better clearance on it. Now in the future I do plan on maybe getting some wider wheels, maybe like some 8 or 9 inch wide uh, wheels and some different tires. Maybe even upgrade to a 16 inch wheel. But you know that's future talk, not right now. So that's it. I'm going to leave you guys with some rolling shots of the car so you guys can see the uh, spacers that I installed on the car. Just rolling on the street. So... That is it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.